And middle-aged guy here with the continuing sound booth building saga. Yeah. So, um, what we're going to do right now, and like I said, we're still in the middle of building this little office area here for myself. So, what we got next going on is an outlet. We're going to install an outlet. Yay. So, let's go into the makeshift sound booth real quick for now. And I'll show you what we got going. It's kind of dark. Bear with me. As you saw last time I mounted the microphone up here. All right, we saw this already. This shelf is collapsible. Push these up and the shelf folds down, but it's got my stuff on there right now. And another two by four and I put the, I put the um, shelf arms on there. And I also put a headphone uh, hook on here. This folds up also. So if I ever wanted to fold this down, this would fold up and everything would fold down flat. No biggie. Right below it, there's a blank space wall down here. There's nothing. This closet has no light, no electrical, nothing. So I need to get an outlet in here at least. So on the other, on the other side of this wall, there's an outlet right there. So what I'm going to do is um, take the cover off, um, put what they call the pigtail in. And essentially, I'll be getting two strands of, uh, or two wires or some, you know, um, Romex, a piece of Romex. And I'll be taking, uh, I'll be unhooking the main that's coming in. The Romex is coming in from here. I'll be unhooking it from this outlet. And I'll be, I'll be pretty much splicing it. Um, one end of it will come into here, which is going to be the um, neutral, the hot, and the ground. And then I'll have a second neutral hot in the ground that'll be going to the other side of the wall where I'll put in the other outlet. Um, so yeah, that's what we'll be doing right now. And so first things first is safety. In order to know what we're doing or where we're at, we're gonna have to cut the power to that specific breaker. Just use the mess in here. So what I'll do is I'll put this circuit detective transmitter. Now look, real quick, this is like 20 bucks at Harbor Freight. The cheapest I found it anywhere else was about forty dollars, and that's including Amazon, Home Depot, Lowe's. So they're, they're they're twenty bucks at Harbor Freight. It's pretty simple. All you do is you plug this in. Light comes on, lets you know there's power going to it. We'll go outside to the breaker box. Use the other end of it, and it'll go over the breakers. And I'll show you that here in a second, and I'll and it'll let you know which breaker to turn off. So we'll be right back. So now here we are at the breaker box. The way this particular one works, it's on, and you're just going to wave it in front. It's letting you know that that's where the, uh, that's the breaker. See, we get nothing here. Get it here. So it looks like it's going to be either this one or this one. Turn this one off. Nothing. Nothing. Sorry about the bad camera work, guys. But I turned that one off and there's nothing there. Now we're going to go upstairs and double check. Hold this down until the power's off. And go back upstairs. So then we come back up here. See the light's off. That means there's no current going to there. Double check it. Light's off. Then we're going to take our voltage tester or voltage detector, I should say, and this is a little DeWalt one. And this will let us know there's any current coming in without actually making contact. As you can tell, there's nothing there, right? If there was current going through there, like on this light switch, for example, you would hear a beep. See that current? So then if I were to turn it off, nothing, just green. But then there's a hot right there. Turn it on, let you know it's live. Um, every other outlet that's here, just, just to let you know, there's one down there. See that one right there? It's live. See how it turned red? See? This one here? Nothing. N nothing. Nothing stays green. We're good. There's no current. We kill that breaker outside. We're turning it off, I should say. Now we're going to remove the cover and inspect the box. One second. So we're in the closet now, and what we're using is what they call a uh, new jaw box, which is one of these. 
um, you'll outline the template here on the wall, which I've already done. And you'll cut it out and it will slide in. You'll tighten these screws here with a, sorry, I'm focusing. These screws here with the drill and these little wings will come out and that's what's gonna hold the box in place. Um, prior to installing your knockout, the tab you're gonna use. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So once I knock this hole out, and I'm gonna tell you like this, if you don't have one of these, you definitely need one. This is like the best thing ever. Perfect for sheetrock. So I'm gonna knock this hole out real quick, get my fitting in there, um, pull the wires through, and then we'll pick up from there. Just hang tight. Okay, so we're pretty much almost set up. I uh, pulled the wires through. Um, I pulled them out of the bottom outside electrical. And I pulled them in through here because they're coming from the top down. So I'm going to put the pigtails here. And basically all the pigtail is, is you're going to get some wire nuts. And um, you're going to put um, two wires per strand. And just use the wires to push them together. Tighten them up. Um, one of those strands will come out to the outlet. And then the other strand will go back into the hole in here that I've made. There's a hole in there. And it's going to go out to the outlet at the bottom. And I'll connect those to the proper terminals. Very basic, bears copper, the little screw on it is green. The black one, the black wire goes to the bronze colored screw on one side. And some will have two screws, one above the other, and you pick one, it doesn't matter which one. And the white one will go to the silver nut on the opposite side of the outlet. Let me show you that real quick. So as you can see here, the bare copper one will go here. The white one will go to the silver one, which is on this side here. And then the black one will go to the other side. It doesn't matter which one you pick. So it can black here, white here, and you put it in. And that's pretty much it. So let me get that done and I'll show you what the pigtails look like and then we'll go from there. All right, we're finishing up here. Pigtails, pigtails, oink, oink. So I did them to these three, one, two, three. So as you can tell, you have one that goes from here and it goes all the way to the um, to the wire nut, and then it splashes off. You have the main coming in from the top, and then this one's going out to the outlet on the other side of the wall. Same for the other two. So I'm just gonna push these in, um, tighten that box up, tighten those screws on the side, this one and this one, and let those little wings come out and hold that in place. Um, seal it up and put the cover on it. And then I gotta go back to my original outlet, which is this one right here. Finish pulling the wires through, put the old uh, connector back on there, the plug, and then close that up and we'll give it a test run. So hang in there, we are almost done. All right, so now we got that one reconnected. The one in the closet's reconnected also. I just haven't put the covers on them yet. Um, what we're gonna do next is, I gotta go outside and turn the breaker on and make sure the house doesn't burn down. No, I'm just kidding. Um, which brings me to my next point. Um, I just wanna reiterate, if you try to do this at home, be careful, take all the precautions you can. Um, I'm a homeowner, which means that a lot of the stuff I do, I have to do on my own because it's expensive. Um, so I am by no means an electrician. I am just a handyman type individual that, you know, I've been doing stuff like this with my, even with my dad when I was a kid. So yeah. Um, so right now we're going to go turn the breaker on. If everything works, plug a few things in. If that works out good. Um, put the plates back on and clean up and I'll show you the final product. So hang in there and if there's a, any catastrophic issue between flipping the breaker on and coming back up here, I'll be sure to record that too. So stay tuned. All right, so let's give it a quick test. My faithful. Okay, so we got power going. There and there. Let's check the inside one. And there it is. Power, power. Okay, so now I'm gonna plug something in just to make sure it is working okay and nothing crazy is gonna happen. So give me one moment. So yeah, so all I do is just plug a fan in just to make sure it's working. This is the first one I put in. This one seems working okay. And I'm gonna plug it on on the outside one just to double check it. Everything seems to be fine. No problems here. So now let me check the outside wall. Check the other wall. 
stuff and put that down. I'll screw that in here for one moment. And plug it in on this one just to make sure we're still getting current. Everything's cool. There. Turn on. No breakers tripping. Everything seems to be fine. Turn on high. Still no breakers tripping. Everything seems to be fine. So it looks like I'm ready to uh, put everything back together and clean up. So give me one moment and I'll show you the final finished product. Hang in there, I'll be right back. I gotta do my housekeeping stuff now. So um, just to go over, the reason this box is coming out when I was trying to pull the plug out, 40 by 70 thing, because I haven't tightened those little wings up yet. I'm just gonna do that right now. And it's just this screw, hang on. Sorry about that. This screw right here and this screw right here. So you use a drill and go slow and those wings will those wings are gonna flip up and pull out towards me and put some stress on pressure on this so it doesn't happen anymore and then I'll put the cover on. Sorry about my camera work, it's cramped in here. All right, and we are done. Let's see the finished product here. There's the outlet. And then of course the original one that we pulled the wire from is right there. Everything's working cheesy. Everything's working cheesy, everything's working great. Oh my goodness, I'm getting tired. Everything's working great. Um, the reason I wanted the outlet here is in case I need to charge my laptop when I am doing some recording. Um, but I should need to. Mostly it's going to be used for low voltage. Um, I'm going to run some LEDs around in here um, for light and that should cover that. But yeah, um, other than that, thanks for hanging out with this part, guys. I really appreciate it. We are almost done. I just need to get some sound editing foam in here and um, this door needs to get soundproof some. And other than that, we're good. I really, really appreciate your support. Middle-aged guy signing off. Y'all have a good day. Take care. And I'll see y'all next time for the continuation of this project. Have a good night. Peace.